Hello again. So this activity is kind of just a doodle. So you need to start out with a pencil, any kind of pencil that you want to use. And the media that you can use besides a piece of paper, and this is kind of like a thick piece of paper. It's not cardstock, but it is just typical, a little bit thicker than your traditional uh, copy paper. So markers, crayons, colored pencils, oil pastels, whatever type of media that you want to use, you can use for this activity. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to do a random doodle. So whatever you want to do, just casually draw. You want to make a lot of closed shapes because of course we're going to color. Um, and you can just do whatever you like to do. You can play music while you're doing this. We're just going to do a doodle. And if you end up doodling a shape of some kind, that's okay. Because this is your art, again, remember, and we're just relaxing and we're doodling. I guess if I had thought about it, I maybe have wanted to play some music in the background, but I did not. And again, this is one of those ones that if you want to later, after you've watched the video, you can always pause it and do, you can do it at the same time, because it's not live, it's all taped. I've got a lot going on in my picture. Hmm. Let me stop it right there. Now, I just chose to end it where it started. Didn't mean to do it like that. It just kind of happened. But, as you can see, this is my doodle. So now, it's the choice of what type of media you want to use to color it. Um, I have some markers here. Um, and I've had them for years. Um, and part of my thought is too is I'm gonna go through and if they're dried up I'm gonna throw them away. So these are just La Plume. I think I got them at Michael's several years ago and I am just going to color in my doodle. Now you can just do one spot, multiple spots. This is, happens to be one of my favorite colors, so I might use it a lot more than you may on your colors that you choose. I like, I guess they're called cool colors. I'm not sure. Blues and purples. They're definitely not the reds, kind of like the other side of the spectrum. I'm not, a, I don't like yellows, those kind of things. Not sure why. I'm sure it says a lot about my personality. And a lot of little spots. I'm gonna go with the big one. Now, I haven't made any decisions about my color scheme that I wanna use. Now, some of you may be like, oh, I'm gonna use these certain colors. There's nothing wrong with that either. Help yourself. You can do whatever color you want. It's your art. There was one art camp that we did a lot of pictures with, um, we did bubble paintings. And then I continued doing more bubble paintings at home. And I have several of them framed actually and hanging in one of the rooms in my house. Really liked them. I used the blues. And yellow. Can you believe that? Yellow. I'm not a yellow fan, but some people like yellow. We have a lesson that we do in our SEL program, and it talks about colors. And colors have a lot to do with where you are in your life, what season you're in, as they like to say. How you're feeling about things. I believe that stuff. I think it says a lot about you as a person, the colors that you like. If you notice people who like yellows are really cheerful kind of people. Always happy, sunshiny. I 
I worked with a teacher who loved red. I mean, she was a powerful woman, which yellow is to me. It's a very powerful color. We'll eventually go back and outline our pencil the best we can, I guess, after we color on top of it in a Sharpie or a really thick black marker, which I still don't have one. I need to find one. Now, you have to remember something, too. This is your artwork, and if you don't like something or how it's drawn on here, you want to split it in half because it's too big, remember it's yours. Do whatever you want with it. You are the owner of your work. And it's your property, I guess, if you could say. You can do whatever you want with it. It's your own little piece of magic. Almost at the side, I may want to use it again later, but I think I like that blue. I'm going to start going in with a purple. Uh, ultramarine. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Another one of my favorite colors. Ooh, definitely this marker's seen its last days which is what we wanted to do. We wanted to clean out our markers. I'm sure that if you did that, your parents would be really appreciative. Because that stuff gets really crowded, as I might say. I know mine does. I'll try to use this as much as I can, and then we can just throw it in the discard pile. Hope everybody's having a great summer. We talked about getting back to school and new procedures that are gonna start happening that you'll probably start seeing soon, if you haven't already. This little virus is really putting a damper on us. But I think it's going to have some benefits in the end. Closer knit families. I think my time is, I'm going to cap this guy. I am, um, he's on his last leg, as we would call it. Let's go with a different color here. We're going to go with a sapphire. Let's see how this one looks. I might go a little crazy and throw in some of those other warmer colors. Just because they're all a little bit alike, this one looks real good. Like this color, a little lighter than that first blue that we used. Isn't it amazing that there's so many different shades of blue, but they're all really still blue. That kind of makes it kind of neat. You know, it's just occurred to me, you've got all this big background color. Hmm, I could leave it white. Hmm, that is going to be something I'm going to have to think about as I'm doing this. What do I want my background color to be? Uh-oh. This one may not have as much life as I thought. I wonder 
think these are supposed to be like watercolor markers or something. Not quite sure. But you can really tell the difference in my three different blues that I've chosen. Even though one's kind of more purplish. I've chosen this year in our art therapy group that you want to pick things that you can just do anywhere you're sitting around just waiting waiting for someone to come pick you up waiting to get your turn for something or just waiting to figure out what to do next sometimes just doodling will help you pass the time relax you for your mind Get you to think about a few different things that are going on in your life. Especially things that are challenging. Doodling can help with that because it just makes you think outside the box. How can I handle this situation? Or maybe the situation's over. What went wrong? What could I have done better? because we have a tendency as humans to really beat up ourselves over situations that happened especially if we didn't like the outcome and we don't need to do that it happened we may not have liked the outcome but it happened we can't change that but what we can do is just accept the fact that we are who we are we are going to make mistakes and so is everybody else around us, whether we want to choose to see those or not. But if we were to sit around one day and just watch everybody else, we would see all the mistakes that they make as well. Some people embrace their mistakes and they laugh at themselves. And I think that's kind of the big idea is to decide one day to say, yep, I make mistakes. And be okay with it. It's hard sometimes. I know. Okay. I think this little guy needs to be used later. Hmm. I wonder if we threw some green into this. Let's start with some darker greens. This color is a teal. Hmm. I should have put a scrap piece of paper here so I could kind of Oh, let's jump in. If we don't like it, it's okay. It's not the kind of teal I was thinking. And again, these pins probably are on their last leg. Now, remember, you don't have to use marker. I just happened to want to go through them and get rid of them if they were bad and drying up. Because it's not much fun when you pull out a marker to do an a a project and voila it doesn't work and then you're pretty upset with yourself ah then you got to go change your ideas which is nothing wrong with any of that but it doesn't make it look really good when you're coloring and we'll try to get a couple more colors out of this just a couple more spots I feel like I took up all the little spots back to what I was saying is that when you plan to do something and use a media and then it doesn't work you're gonna have to start all over like I thought about colored pencils um, which would have been nice too they always typically work you don't really have to ever worry about them not working um, except when you maybe don't sharpen maybe um, but again, like I said, this is a great way for me to clean out my markers. These guys probably won't last much longer. They also have another end on them, a little point, which it looks like it's dried up too. So if I get rid of them, it'll be okay. So I think the only one that really worked well was the first one we used, which is that one. Okay, so. Thinking, let's go more of a pinky color on this one. Wisteria. What's this going to look like on here? Hmm. Ooh, 
Did you see how it pulled in some of that color? I like that. I'm sure it wasn't meant to do that, but I kind of like it. Kind of gives it a little bit of a, a little something different. So I'm actually going to go on the other side. So if you're thinking about buying markers, don't buy these. I don't suggest these Le Plumes unless you're going to use them on a regular basis. They're not really going to last you a long time. But if you like them and you've used them before, then have at it. I have a tendency to buy them, use them for a product, a project, and then I don't pick them back up again. And then they just want to use them to write. They're almost like watercolors. You notice that the first one I used was pretty wet and you can't see all the lines in it. Whereas the drier they are, like this one and that one, that was the teal, you can see the lines in it. So much fun. But again, this is my piece and I'm okay with that. I can always go back over that with another color. We can try that out later maybe and see how that works out. A little bit bigger space. Getting this big area back out here. Let's go in here and put this in. Maybe we'll do something with oil pastels. I kind of like those chalky little guys. They um, are messy. Um, but I wanted to choose activities that I knew you kind of had stuff around the house. Not of a messy thing that if you had to go somewhere and you were sitting and waiting and like if you did a road trip somewhere in a car, you could just pick up a pen, a pencil, and just doodle. Get yourself a little doodle notebook and just doodle all the way. I need something over here. The problem is this is where we're gonna have to get our pencil back out again. I'm just gonna close this off. go a little darker in the purple family. This one is eggplant. Which is a vegetable. No, it's got the seeds on the inside. I think that makes it a fruit. I think strawberries have seeds on the outside. Cucumbers. Yep, she's on the inside. Yep, it's fruit. Oh, wait a minute. It does grow on a vine. I, I can't recall. You guys probably are better at the science piece than I am. I always thought that if there were seeds on the inside, it was a fruit. Cherries have a seed on the inside. But then that makes... An avocado, a fruit. Hmm. I think this one is on its last leg too. Kind of looks like a bug. This would be the head, this would be the body, like a ladybug. But the colors are not right. Hmm. 
because this is so big and these markers are drying up, if we did color the insides here, we'd have to use something different, such as probably a colored pencil or a crayon. So what we may do is we may pause this and make a two-part video so I can put the markers away and get to the crayons because I don't think you want to hear me rooting through things to get all my colored pencils out. Try a different color. This one's not doing too good either. Let's go with this color amethyst. One of the things that I like to do is I like to save things and use them when they're needed and I can tell you right now don't do that with art supplies use them because as you can see they will dry up I don't really think crayons dry up markers will I'm pretty sure they have a life I wonder if Crayola have, puts a life on their markers if not used, it will only last blah, 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 blah. But if used on a regular basis, it will last even less. So I guess you gotta decide how much you wanna use them. put a second coat on it and I make it a little bit lighter. Good. I'm going to try one more spot. This actually was a good activity. Out of all my markers, I could only keep one. Hmm, let's try something back in the green family here. This is Peacock Green. Hmm, kind of running out of little circles, aren't I? the circle activity. Um, I didn't do it, but you can make a peacock. This is really close to that. You can make a peacock out of the circles. Maybe I will go back and do that one for you guys. Um, or maybe you guys can surprise me and show me what you think a peacock would look like when you do the circle activity. This is very much like that green. It's a lot of difference. I think that was the teal. It's just like maybe that's it might be a little darker, but overall it's pretty close to it. I need something for these big areas. Alright, so This is emerald. It's really green. I'm not sure I want that. Hmm. This is called jade green. It's a little, a little lighter. Ooh, I like that color. 
This one works nice. This is a good pen. Okay, and we have two good ones. All right, let's take some big spaces since we've got some good ink. Bigger spaces with these. So I'm just holding it down. There it is. Okay. Now when school starts, I hope I do not see you doing this during class. Don't think your teachers would appreciate that at all. And if you're doing this, I know that I am struggling with thinking about anything other than just this. Whoops. Missed that roundabout. Um, so I know you cannot be listening to her or him as you do this. I want to do this big piece here, but I can't. I can do this. I like this one. It's a good one. Keep that over here. Let's go with there's another blue. This is called Solar Blue. That's the name of the plant. Oh, this one's really bad. I should have a trash can right here. Did it just go right in there? another blue. This one is called Sky Blue. Let's see how this one looks. Ooh, I like it and it's juicy. So let's go with spots. Okay, I spoke too soon. It was juicy. Now it's dry. Uh, I'm going to go back and use him and this little guy. Remember if that was him or not, and did it matched? Okay. There. It's a big area. It's too big. Does Guy Holly have any juice in him? It. 
same color. Oh well, it's okay. Let's go with this dark color. This is called Oriental Blue. Let's just try to fill up some of these other spaces. This looks more of a greenish blue. I'm 100% sold on the color choices that they use for these names. I don't think I would have called this Oriental Blue. to say I'm going to throw these away, but I'm going to throw these away. Pine green. Is there any little bitty spots that I cannot see that I left out? Hmm. This is called blue gray and the tip of it looks green. Well, that's because there's nothing left in there. He's going to the trash too. Um, here's another purple. This one's called Black Cherry. Let's see what this one does. This one's really dark. Really dark. More like brown almost. Darker than I wanted, but it's okay. Big, 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 big. Hmm. I like these two spots. That one. That one. Hmm. Let me take this one. dark. Um, which one was this? Um, let's try. This is called jungle green. Interesting. Again, another dried up marker, but it's okay. I do like this color. I like that yellowy greens, especially when I'm, I do a lot of um, kind of color plants, leaves. I like to use that yellowish green for the leaves. I don't really know why, because when you look at leaves outside, they're not yellowy at all. They're green. There's something about that color. I don't know. I like it. It kind of reminds me of that army green. Let's see where else we can put this guy. Put him here. Hmm. 
this before I go. Green. Hmm. Let's try leaf green. I see my bigger spaces look like these big things, but I'm gonna use colored pencil, I think. Oh, um, let's go with now. Let's do right here. not gonna go very far. Let's try here. I do have two more after this ooh olive green. I would love to get a happy surprise and this be a really good marker. I did not choose a very good area. This one may not even fill it. Oop. He's done. All right. Um, this one's called Pale Green. Ugh. Again, this one's really bad. Well, I'm sure there's tricks out there we could do to make these things work, but, hmm. I'm pretty sure they're pretty old, and I will be sad to see them go. This was the good one, wasn't it? Pine green. We have one green left, it's called emerald. Let's make it fit right here. Let's do a small area. Stop right there. We'll make our own little line. Yep, that is it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to stop the video and I'm going to get my colored pencils out. Throw these pins away. I think there's maybe three of them that we were keeping. Um, and then we will, I'll see you back here later. Okay.